What's good, YouTube? My name is White Sox Fox, and today I am back with another video, man. Today's video is gonna be different. So um, lately, um, I've been running out of ideas and whatnot, like creativity. Like this is the point of being a creator. Being a creator, you need to have ideas every day. You gotta provide for people who are watching you. So you just stop providing for them, they leave. They go to another person. And if you miss a day, the other person is gonna get them more interested than they are in you. So that's the point. Now, I make music. I don't post like daily, like I do on YouTube, because YouTube is a different thing, it's a different platform. You miss one day on YouTube, you're done. Unless you make a banger and they come to you. And like, I haven't been, I have ideas for like YouTube videos and whatnot, but there's gonna be like a point where I just run out of run out of ideas, and that's what, that's what I need y'all to be here for. This is why y'all watch me. This is why y'all are my fans. If I even have any, but this is this is why I have like a fan base. Y'all tell me what y'all want to see. I provide. That's the point of being the creator. That's the point of doing this stuff. I don't do this stuff for no money. I don't do this stuff for fame. I just do this before the fun of it, for the fact that. When I grow up, I don't want to be working for an individual for $60 a day and after two weeks getting paid $1,200. It, it makes no sense. So you go four years in college, be $200,000 in American debt, come out and get it all taken away for nothing. It just seems like that's, that's I'm at the point of our times nowadays. It seems like from the ages five to 18, like the only times you can have fun with, with like or like the only times you can have fun with your lives without actually going to work coming home and then not, not having enough energy to go ahead and have fun or have you know funds for it or whatnot i do this shit for the simple reason of i don't i don't want to work for nobody in the future and that's that's my mind so if if i don't get popular on social media or social like world web wise I'll make my own business like I don't want to work for somebody in the future like that's that's the point I'm gonna stress out but the point that I'm trying to stress out here is as a creator I got I gotta get you your attention I gotta get you somehow for you to tell me what you want to see and I could provide that I could do like skits for like one week two weeks or three weeks three weeks or like a whole month but the next month I'll be out of ideas so you know this is this is the part where y'all come in like that's that's why they have a comment section because you can tell your favorite part what you want to see that's that's why I put that stuff on my Instagram stories on my Twitter what you want to see today I don't I don't put it up there just for the show or like because it makes me look proud now I'll put that up there for y'all to see it but I mean it, it's taking me two and a half years to get 3,000 views. If, if I was doing this stuff from the beginning of sixth grade when I had this channel back in 2014, like from from like the end of fifth grade in 2014 to like today, I probably could have been somewhere by now. I probably could have been 127,000 subscribers deep in YouTube, at least. Or I probably could have had a million I don't know I'm not gonna say no numbers exotically like that because it's YouTube anything can happen but you know this year I'm gonna really put put my grind on this YouTube stuff because I mean my numbers are up tremendously now on social blade um, everything is good for my YouTube now I just want y'all to like share my channel, like my video, tell your friends about it, comment, tell me what you want to see. That, that's really the, all I want to see. I mean, it's not that hard, dude. All you gotta type is like, if you could type a whole paragraph to your girlfriend, boyfriend, best friend, or whatever, I know you could type a little, a little sentence of what you want to see. It doesn't even have to be that long. It could be truth or there, or, you know. It, it's simple as that. That little simplicity can really boost me up 
I don't even care about the clout. I don't care about the clout. I don't care about the money. I don't, I don't really care about none of that. I'm not that type of YouTuber. I'm the type of person who like wants to actually have fun with their job. And that's another thing. When you make like videos and music, people don't portray it as a job because it's not like a, like a job that other people could do it. But when you really do this stuff, this stuff is not that easy. You try to get behind the camera and talk to the whole wide web, or you try to get behind a microphone, write down lyrics, jot down lyrics that people are actually gonna like. Writing Tokyo, that wasn't easy. That took me like two, three weeks. I know other people can like do it like for a long time, but those are those lame rappers. I actually take time. I'm a lyrical kind of rapper. Like I wanna include like things from Tokyo, like. When I made Tokyo, I put things that are like from Japan, like Enios Gas, Haichu, Spapester. Like, those things are from Tokyo, those things are from there. Enios Gas in the Haichu, walking in Bapester shoes, spend about 20 in bait, money for the music I create. But people don't portray it as a job because it's not like an application you sign up for it and whatnot. You don't sign an application for it, but you sign contracts for it. And those contracts guarantee you the money. I mean, I mean if. I portray that as the application. I mean, it's a digital world now. Everybody wants to become Twitch streamers, YouTubers, you know, rappers. But at the end of the day, only the people who are dedicated to it and really, really, really want it can actually get it. Hard work really does pay off, but you really got to work for it. Like, you really, really got to work for it. Like, I'm really going to work for this stuff. I really want to work for this stuff. Like even if you just watch like five minutes of this video, I thank you a lot because that that means like you're you're actually part of my crowd. You're actually part of the Fox crowd, and that really makes me proud. That really makes a name for me. Yeah, you can make fun of my channel. You can do hate comments. You can do whatever. But at the end of the day, I'm still getting somewhere with this stuff. I'm still putting myself in the world wide web. You're still behind a, a little phone screen commenting with a probably a fake username or something. But at the end of the day, those are the people that are gonna be working for other individuals. Shout out to my day ones that have been there from like the start, like from Q and A number one, like where I got it from my Instagram daily rolling like a couple years back. That video finally hit a hundred and something views like a couple weeks ago. Like my videos are actually hitting 100 views and I really appreciate that because I'm getting excited over 100 views and and that should, that should mean something, getting excited over 100 views because when I started the video, I had zero, nothing to start with and I had 100 views, that, that's, that's crazy. Started this YouTube channel, zero views, started it with zero subscribers, now I have 67 subscribers, that means a lot and if I could hit 100 subscribers by... If I could hit 100 subscribers by June, that would mean a, sh a shit ton, dude. That would mean a lot. But I'm gonna start bringing vlogs, skits. I'm gonna start doing two videos a day. And yeah, that's gonna probably just be me. Shout out if you made it this far. Shout out to you, man. Um, thanks. From the bottom of my heart, Fox Crowd. See you in the next video, man.